Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So you may have heard already with Module 24, we're getting a whole bunch of new inventory changes. From a filter to search through all of your different items, let's say you lost something in your inventory, to a much more clearly defined vanity pet summon system. You can see exactly which one you have following you around, along with a very nice addition to the bag management system, being able to give you the ability to preference what items go in which bag along with easily replacing certain bags with others without having to go through the mess of completely emptying your inventory bag and then replacing it with a new one as you would have to do before you will have a bunch of preset filters to go with just sorting whatever you want through the name if you just want to see like consumables only for your dungeon run and find them there you can do so additionally they added the ability to right click on your power tray and simply switch the items as such there rather than having to navigate directly to your inventory and drag and drop and then once dying with regards to injury kits you can simply automatically use them in the top Top left by clicking on it or right clicking on it you can see just clicking on it will use an automatic injury kit from your inventory if you have one available and otherwise very nicely the ability to have pinned currency you can see down here we have one currency pinned and you can pin countless others but only a maximum of three will be shown you can just left click on them and you can see then it shows right there just left clicking on it again removes it or just clicking clear pins removes it so for example i'm grinding this currency within the new zone i would want to know how many i have and stop grinding at a certain amount i'll be easily able to see it rather than having to navigate all the way to the campaign otherwise they have added the ability to obtain new fashion slots you can see that just here in the wondrous bazaar i believe the first page yes five fashion slots for 100k astral diamonds just keep in mind that's five slots for every single slot including your three fashion slots as well you can see it's the library here normally it's 100 max but you can increase that to 200 max with buying a bunch of those appearance library slots and they've made a blog covering all of this and there'll be a link in the video description below and we'll just run through it again real quick with you guys everything i've already just mentioned but in a bit more detail and fancy wording you can see from the start they describe how finding and filtering items will work just typing in your current text and then it will search it by clicking the search button and you can click clear to remove the search that you have inputted to then yeah see everything as you normally would with your inventory on top of that the extra bag management features there very nice for sorting through your bags and having certain bags prioritize taking certain gear personally i'm just going to stick with my usual of having my first bag filled with some stuff as you can see here and then my second bag is usually where the stuff that anything new will appear and then i can sort that through whatever i want with regards to what bags rather than it automatically happening and then losing where that new item just went in your inventory can be a bit more of a pain for me than it's going to be worth with this whole new thing but being able to switch bags so that can replace them with bigger bags is going to be very handy and otherwise you can just again read through there how they've listed it and otherwise you have moving multiple items in your inventory something i didn't say at the start of this video but basically you're holding down like control and you can click on multiple items and then you can drag them we have limited inventory there but you can see let's say i want to move these masks masterwork weapons together you can do so however a masterwork weapon went all the way down here let's move it back up here and just selecting both of them and dragging it up you can see when they highlight in blue you can drag and place them like so you can also just drag them around normally and if you have a stack of things you can hold control and move them like so and if you hold shift it will automatically select half of them and you again can read through there with then the potion tray as we've already shown along with the inventory hud and automatically it will name your companions to the default or it will suggest to name them the default and then you can change that of course if you want anytime with a free nickname change the pinned currency is, as we already mentioned that i guess is how it's going to look on pc on the left and console on the right and then your vanity pet there in your inventory again pc on the left console on the right and then additional fashion library slots overall some very nice quality of life improvements and i'm happy that they're at least trying to introduce these little improvements
improvements that go a long way to the quality of life in this game just to make it so that it's easier to play it easier to sort through all your shit and uh yeah find it as well once you obtain something and you're like where the heck did that go usually picking up a new item is not too hard as you'll get a flashy new uh like tag on it but sometimes you lose that and then you've no idea where it went and just being able to uh, search it like i'm looking for all my opals and uh, i don't have any okay good news look for my pearls there you go and we can simply go and convert all of those or of course you can use the convert refinement system right here all gemstones that'll do the job too and get a bunch of rp now overall i'm very happy with these quality of life improvements and they'll be decently useful being able to search through them there's definitely a few more i would like to see them add for example cooldowns on items not being bound to certain loadouts for example if i use this if i use this forger's box on this character if i switch to try and switch to a character that doesn't have the forger's box equipped i will not be able to and that's just infuriating for me as especially when you're playing between like a tank and a healer one has the forger's box and the other has the chain of scales personally i think they really need to do that however since my previous video they did add a few new features for example you are now able to search your mount combat powers just here you can find exactly like i want my lion combat power i'll see the two ones there that have the tag lion new same with your equip powers the same with your companion equip powers and bonuses along with then searching a companion and the same when you're swapping out a mount you can also search them here as well and you won't get like filters there but you can just search for a name if you know what you're looking for and don't want to like search through all the icons or the entire freaking list overall just a heads up again you can read through the official blog that they made and see the fancy wording they put on it Otherwise, pretty much just went through everything real quick in this video. And otherwise, you'll experience the features for yourself as soon as Module 24 goes live. My guess is sometime early November. So another special thanks to all of these channel members for helping me keep my channel going. And if I presented this well, consider leaving the video a like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.